Welcome everybody. My name is Ave. I'm with Art Matters and today we're going to do a little art activity. Um, we're going to be using chalk pastel and I'm going to show you all how to do what is called a gradient and we're going to make some sunsets. So but first before we get started I just kind of wanted to go over the Art Matters mission statement. Um, I also wanted to go over the community agreements. So First, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the mission statement and let's see where is it. Okay, so the R Matters mission statement is, you know, we're a project and a group of teaching artists who bring, you know, authentic, engaging arts, art experiences to Albuquerque youth. Our content is designed to engage uh, youth in, you know, art making, you know, focusing on social justice, focusing on mental health, focusing on community, focusing on joy, and creative engagement is at the core of our process. So that's our Art, uh, art Matters mission statement. And also just want to acknowledge that we are on unceded Tiwa Pueblo land, originally indigenous land as part of our uh, mission statement. We just want to acknowledge that. And then go over to the community agreements. <clears throat> so community agreements, we like to bring this into the spaces that we come into, the spaces we want to try to create. Um, we'll just, you know, number one is, you know, everybody has a voice. We want to make space um, for all respectful questions, concerns, ideas, you know, feel free to learn from each other. Um, we want everyone's voice to be heard. Um, and then, of course, respect, you know, each other, yourselves, the tools, the materials, any ideas that you have, your environment, anything around you, you know, respect the process, engage in the process, you know, hold space for joy, and of course, have fun. Number three is be an artist and a maker. You know, take creative risks, try something new. Um, don't be afraid to make mistakes. Sometimes the best art, at least for me, comes out of my mistakes because I wasn't, you know, overthinking it. And I wasn't, I was taking a risk and I was letting go of that fear of perfection. And last one is lift each other up and share, you know, ask questions, listen, give thoughtful, productive feedback. You know, if, if you have you know, you want to just give some advice or you want to share something with someone, you know, do it, do it thoughtfully, intentionally, um, collaborate, you know, share each other's work. Um, yeah, don't feel free to share ideas and just, you know, celebrate each other, celebrate each other's work. Um, yes, yeah, so, okay, so that's the agreements. Let's go ahead and stop the share. And now we're going to get into the art activity. Um, but before we actually get into it, uh, I want to make sure you all have your materials. So you're going to need a piece of paper like this. Could be any size. I have here just kind of a small, I think it's five by seven or five by eight. And start with that. And next thing you're going to need is some chalk pastels. They should be in your in the art kits that we um, distributed recently. And for the sunsets, we want specific colors because um, sunsets are made of, you know, so many color, different colors, you know, there's all kinds of sunsets. If you look online or if you look outside and you just see a sunset, you see reds, you see oranges, you see yellows, you see pinks, you see blues, purple, you see all kinds of colors, right? So you can get as creative as you want with this. For this one, I'm just going to use these five colors, which is like a dark orange, orange, uh, kind of a darker yellow, pink, and then like a bright 
uh, yellow. So that just to make it simple, let me show you what I have already. So this was the little sunset that I created before now, just so you guys can see how the, all these, these colors, we blended those together. All right, and then that's what I'm gonna show you all how to do. So first thing, gonna get your paper. You can do it this way or you can do it this way. Since I did the other one this way, I'm gonna do it this way now. So the first thing you wanna do is, this you're just going to pick your first color so it could be red it could be a blue whatever color you want to start with but i'm going to start with the dark orange at the top and then we're going to slowly move our way down with all the different colors so which one you just kind of want to put it's going to get kind of messy so if you have paper towel that's a good idea i forgot to mention that as far as the materials that you need so your hands are definitely going to get messy. That's the fun part sometimes about art. All right, so we have our first color, and then we're going to add another color. We're not going to do anything with this yet. We're just going to add two colors next to each other. We're not quite blending yet. You could kind of start mixing it if you want, but just kind of just get that color on there. I'm just going to get that color. We're going to make it look smoother right now. So we're just going to get those two colors together. And that's the first step. Next step, you can do this with a paper towel or you can do it with your finger. And I'll show you how to do both ways. So the first one, you could take like your middle finger or your uh, index finger and just Start blending those colors. See how it starts kind of smoothing it out? Do that. Or you can use a paper towel and then do the same thing, but with the paper towel. That way your fingers don't get too messy, but I think it's funner with the hand. So we're just gonna do that, blending these two colors together and it's like looking real smooth. Okay, and then we can start adding our next color. So the next color I'm gonna do is like a yellow. Okay. We'll add another two colors. So I'm gonna add this yellow. And then you can start, it doesn't have to be just lines. I'm gonna add some pink here. Kind of look like clouds. And then we'll take our napkin again, our finger, and just start blending again. If it gets too messy, you can blow it off or just all right, that's a little messy. Okay, then just kind of blend all, again, all the colors together. Add some yellow here. And then we move on to our next color. Our next color is, <clears throat> we're gonna do yellow. It's like really bright yellow. Oh, so another thing is to just be careful where you put your fingers because it can get kind of messy. So try not to get this hand dirty. <laughs> Highly recommend. So basically, you're just gonna keep doing that. Keep adding colors until you get the desired gradient effect. So the gradient is a blend of colors. And there you go. You can always do another layer, add more to it. You can 
once you're done with it, you can always add something on top of it too. You could do some little palm trees, you can do letters, you could do words, you could do another image with a Sharpie or something like that. Um, yeah, so feel free to, once you're done with that, you can make another one, trying different colors. Um, you do a different kind of sunset. Um, yeah, so that's basically it for this one. And yeah, have a good time. Uh, make sure whenever you are finished with your art, you have a napkin or something that you just wipe down your table. It gets pretty messy. It doesn't stain, doesn't stain clothing or anything, but you will get kind of messy. So just make sure you clean up, put those away. Um, yeah, so whenever you want to just like doodle, zone out, refocus, calm down, um, you know, you make a little sunset. You can give it as a gift. You can, you know, keep it for yourself. Um, yeah, share your drawings with each other. See how, you know, they're different. See how they're similar. Um, yeah, so thanks for making art with me today and we'll see you all next time. All right. <laughs>